All right, today we're going to show you how to remove and install a front door panel on a 9th gen Impala 2006 to 2013, 2014 to 2016 Impala Limited. Stay tuned. Okay, to start, um, this is a T20, what is it, T15? Dirty, knock it off. Oh man, T15. T15, T30 with an extension, panel removal tool, and a uh, little screwdriver and a needle and all those pliers. Beagle is optional. So first thing we're gonna do, get you a little jeweler screwdriver. Pull back the door handle. There's a little spot right here for it. Boom, she pops right out. And there's your T30 screw there. And then you're gonna come over here and lift out this rubber tray. Should come right out, unless you got a bunch of crusties down in there. And that'll expose two more T30s. And then we're gonna come over here. And behind this reflector, there's a spot here to pry. Spin this thing in there without my head getting in the way. Boom, try it. No, oh, it didn't break. All right, cool. And then right there you have the uh, T15. So we're just going to start here with the T15. Make sure the rest is going the right direction. Just pop this off. There we go. T15's out. Now we're going to slide over here. Set this aside, we're gonna get these two T30s right here. I don't know, say if you want to, hook it to a drill. So there's one, there's two, right here. Adjust the camera. And get your third one right here. Okay. Now the last thing we're gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna pry off this sail panel. Try to. It should come off. Um. Grab my panel tool here. Will help. Yeah, you just hold it up here. There's two clips on it. All right, now she's ready to come off. What I'm going to do is take my panel tool, get up under here. Find a spot you can easily slip that into. Sometimes it's easier said than done. Oh, see, now I can see the clip right here. Behind this thing. There's one. Yep. Okay, now 
we're ready to lift off. Yeah, now we're dislodged. We can just up and off. Okay. Now you're going to want to hold it here. I'm going to readjust the camera. Okay, right there is an electrical connector. And you're going to reach in and just uh, pry down on it. Press these tabs. I This camera is not in a good spot. For me to try to attempt this. Resting on the door panel. <laughs> I can't. Yep, you gotta lift these lift these tabs. Damn it, it's not picking it up. This tab here, there's one on the bottom side. Lift them up, and then you can, boom, disconnect this thing. <laughs> and now notice it fell down, and I still have the the cable attached. Now you need to let this hang down and uh, peel back the shield, or you can uh, take the time to. Disconnect it. Either or. I don't think I've done both in the past. I don't think it's that big of a deal if you decide not to. Just make sure you don't tear this uh, vapor barrier. Especially if you got like a 2006 like this. This is uh, crusted to that door. the moment I have the car on four jack stands because I'm doing other work to it. But see, you can you can get to your door handle and to your mirror and to your speaker over there fairly easy without this. But if you choose to, um, let's zoom in on this here. Right down here. Get it on film here and frame. You pinch this in because you want to get this disconnected I can't find which side to pinch this on cannot see at all the tabs are in there that's why I'm pointing on the wrong side so let's see if we get this in frame perfect so right in here Squeeze these tabs. <laughs> Bonk the tripod out of the way. Why am I struggling? This shouldn't be this difficult. I've done this a hundred times. Yeah. Pinch the tabs, pull it through. Can't pick it up, didn't pick it up. See, I got it loose. Now you just, boom, and then you raise that up and out. And now your panel, I'm gonna go set that aside. All right, let's put this door panel back on. Hopefully your adhesive stayed. Let me just press this right back on. Good. Line this. Oh, let's see. Make sure this is uh, square. And you position the camera. So now we're going to get the panel. And I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, cable back in. Maybe let's zoom in on that. We need to show that. That's important. So this little, it's got a little ball end on it. I need some light up in here too. That's any better. Help me monetize my channel. Maybe I'll get some lighting. Let's see. 
trying to get this in frame. This little ball snaps down in here. Just rests in there, and then this. Yeah, fun. Swing it over, pull, pull through the, I can't even, there we go. Pull, get it through here and just snap it back in. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is connect up this electrical connector. It's very simple. Just uh, push it back together. I'm trying to <laughs> hold this with my knee here so I can get this. Snap it back in and then pull that till it snaps back in. Okay, now that that's done, just hang it back on the windowsill. I'll get it up and over your, get it up and over the door lock there. And I gotta reposition this camera again. Okay, get it up and over the door lock. Get, get that thing hanging down in there. Hook it on the edge here. Now we're going to feel around where these clips go into the holes and just check and make sure there's no gaps. Alright, let's make sure the locks work. Make sure the electrical connections work. Check the mirror. Yep, mirror works. Yeah, just making sure the electrical connector's in. So remember your T30 and the short screw. We're gonna get the short screw back here. And then this piece. Snap that right back in. All right. Push your socket out from under the car when it drops. Now you got your two long ones. They're gonna go in here. And that will probably speed up the video here. And as we get these tight, don't forget your little your little uh, tray that goes back in. Drop it in there. Next thing, position the camera. Sail panel. Line up the slots there. slide it in. It's a slot for it to slide in. Snap it and then get your reflector and that T15 I believe it was. Let me throw the T15 back in there. back in. I'm gonna go this way. This thing is short. There! And there is how you remove and reinstall your door panel. This did the driver side, the passenger side is identical. Believe me, I've done the passenger side and there's no difference. So, if you found this informative, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Consider hitting the bell. We've got plenty more Impala videos coming up. 
help get me to a thousand subscribers. Maybe it'll help me pay for some uh, brighter shop lights. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for checking out my channel. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.